Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome into another edition of the Dabbling Angler. Uh, today we're going to go over the December Mystery Tackle Box. But before we get into that guy, I want to give you a little recap on November. Um, you know, a little unfair, we'll say. Um, first day out, I lost that cross-eyed jig by Z-Man. Um, you know, I, I really felt like that was going to be something that we were going to catch a ton of fish on, and, and we did right out the gate. Um, but unfortunately, I had it tied on the wrong line and I ended up snapping that line, and it, it's now sitting at the bottom of my favorite pond, which incidentally, that property <laughs> recently got sold. So if you know anybody that is looking to, to let somebody fish, fish a pond, you know, you know, tell them to hit me up in the comments section. Um, you know, or you know, maybe the new owners. Hopefully, I can get out there for a little bit more and, and show them the ropes on that pro on that property. Uh, but you know, the, I think the the success that I had the most for the November box was certainly that uh, Ema Flit 100. Um, that jerk bait, really, you know, time of year that it is, and the the way that that thing moves, that you know, it has some really sharp jerking action to it, and then it just hovers, it just suspends, you know, fantastic. And really, that's what you're wanting to see. You don't want that bait to float any anywhere. Um, I had a few struggles at the beginning because I was using the wrong kind of line, but I ended up tying it to some some braid, and that braid really, you know, that, that it, it did, doesn't contract like you know a monofilament or even a fluorocarbon would. Um, it so it really suspends well and really helped create a, you know a lot of reaction. So again, you know, positive thoughts about what I got in last month's box, and you know, we'll we'll jump into this month's box, and I'll show you what's in here. So first off, you know, we've got our card that tells us what's inside. Um, you know, I'll be going over that here briefly, but we've got a couple Dugan Squad, some 13 Fishing, some Weston, and uh, some some of Carl's amazing baits, um, his Kicker Craw. So um, first out of the box tricks and tips for the month so talking about swim jig fishing and also using fluorocarbon so gonna read up on both of those um, in some free time got a catch coast sticker that will add to the tackle box and let's see here right out of the gate got a spinner bait from Dugan um, it looks like they call this their zinger spinner bait and the color on this is called sexy shad so we've got the weight on this is they're saying it's three eighths of an ounce. The blades we've got a Colorado number two and a Willow number four. So your Colorado number two and your Willow four. And again, that sexy set shad color. So kind of a bluegillish looking color. Um, another thing that it has in here, and I don't know if you can see this. Hopefully you can. This little knot stopper. So that you can tie your knot and keep your knot from sliding down the line. Um, so that that's very helpful. Um, I would think too, and I know you know some of you guys use clips, and you know it, it's hard to use a clip on a on a spinner bait sometimes. But that stopper I think would allow you to do that if you if you so chose. So excited about getting out with this. You know probably slow rolling this. You know since the the temperature is is a little colder. You know trying to slow roll it around. Um, you know some weeds and or some some stumps and and you know bang against the dock or so to create a little reaction so hopefully hopefully we can get some fish with that um second up from guggen um we got some terminal tackle looks like we got two sizes of three aught four aught um hook so they were designed by game changer lures it looks like so guggen squad teamed up with them so can never have too much terminal tackle um, next out of the box, we'll go with the Carl's um, Amazing Baits, and let me pull my card out here again. This is their Kicker Craw. So, don't have a color on this bag that I can see, but I'm going to say, let me grab one out of here, I'm going to say that this is a watermelon um, with, looks like it's got some green flake to it, and a little bit of black as well. So really kind of nice looking bait. Doesn't have too bad of, a, of an aroma to it. it. Looks like it's got a little bit of stretch to it. But you don't want a whole lot of movement in the winter. So not really worried about you know this moving around a lot. Um, hopefully you know, we can attract some fish. I'm thinking you know that this certainly could go on the back of a swim jig as a trailer. 
Um, you know, it could also be fished, possibly Ned rigged. It's got a nice flat end, so possibly Ned rigged to keep these things kind of floating up top. So you may take a look at that as well. Um, all right, so next up in the box, we have this Weston stick one. And this is a black and blue color. Um, it says five inches or 12 and a half centimeters. And looks like there's five of them in here. Um, really it says hook slots in the back and belly for easy rigging weedless design ideal for lacking in texas rigging ewg worm hooks um full salt infused heavy body for weightless rigging so let me get into this guy here real quick pop this out so kind of like that packaging there so yep a little black and blue with some flake in there Oh, well, I just tore the end of that tail off, so maybe not as durable as I hope they might be, but if they're full salt bodies, they're probably going to fall apart pretty quick. Um, but certainly you can Texas rig this guy, um, certainly, you know, wacky rig or Nico rig. Um, you know, I was going to say you can Nico rig up here, but now that I've torn this tail off, you can Nico rig either side. So excited about that. Um, you know, I've, I've actually run out of stick bait, so this came at a really opportune time. And then, finally, as far as baits go, looks like our 13 fishing is a, their Gordito, which is a square bill. And the color on this, you're going to love the color. It's two-day-old Glock, which, I mean... That's pretty much right on, um, or day old Glock, I should say. So if you, you know, and we've all seen it, and that's exactly what it looks like. So it's, it says it right here on the bill, too. This is a seven foot diver. Um, it says on the packaging here that it's two inches, it's three eighths of an ounce. The ring is a number three, so if you're interested in replacing it, and your hooks are number six. So those hooks are probably, I don't know, they seem a little small, um, but probably the right size for this size bait. So I'm probably not going to change anything out on this initially. Um, I'm real excited about fishing this. Um, you know, I've really kind of gotten into the crankbait and the square bill, and you know, this looks like a really, really nice bait to fish, and real excited about you know getting after it with this guy. So. Let's see. Oh. Well, get this guy back in his packaging for now. And the last thing in here is just some tricks and tips or just some 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 guide as far as where to fish that zinger. Um, so and, and what to use. So twelve to twenty pound fluorocarbon or thirty to fifty pound braid and use a medium to medium heavy action power rod or medium heavy power rod with fast action. So I'm certainly going to get out with that. I'm certainly going to get out with this as well. I'm real excited about both of those. I'm very excited about the stick bait. And again, you know, the those those kicker craws from Carl's Amazing Baits, you know, certainly can get some some work done with those. So you know, kind of in conclusion, guys, I'm real excited about what I've gotten uh, this month in our box. Um, you know, it, it's always a fun time. It's, again, you know, I say it over and over. It's kind of like Christmas morning, um, you know, when I know that the box is coming. Uh, excuse me. Or Russell tenure to warm me up on a nice cold day. Uh, but, you know, it, you know, again, very satisfied, very happy with what I've received this month and excited about, it, about to get out there after it. Um, let me know what you think. You know, leave me a comment in the comment section. You know, thumbs up if you like the video. Um, subscribe if you can. And, you know, just give me some ideas of, you know, what you want to see me do, um, you know, with this, you know, get that tail off of there. So with the, the kicker craw, you know, swim jig for sure, which I, I've got some football jigs that I can attach this to. Um, you know, for sure, but let me know if you think I should Nico rig this guy. 
um, you know, or, or what else you think I should fish, how I should fish that, and let me know what you think on this zinger. Let me know what you think about trailer or no trailer. Um, you know, certainly it's got the the capability to have a trailer on it. There is the trailer keeper. Hopefully you can see that inside of there. Um, so certainly it's it's designed to have a trailer on there, but let me know what your thoughts and let me know what your thoughts are about that skirt. Um, it seems a little big. Um, you know, I know a lot of guys trim those skirts out. Um, I'm not sure about it. You know, so let me know what you think on that. But again, you know, I appreciate you guys you guys watching. Hopefully you got something out of this. Um, let me know what your thoughts are, and until next time, guys, hopefully some of this helps you get your personal best. Take care.